G'day everyone, welcome back to HT Monaro build, episode 3. Today what I'm going to be doing is playing around with these cables, out the way dog, with the cables uh, for the battery. Um, I've got the battery tray in the boot. We put these things in with these nuts hurt, so that, that mounts there. And then um, we've got these cables got these cables for um, the main battery power so I, I just got to remember how I did it but um, I think they went down through there on either side if I'm not mistaken and then I think they come through here somewhere there's a bit of a, a hole there maybe so and then up to the front so um, I'll load those cables and uh, have a bit of a, a bit of a look at um, how it all went back together. It's been a while since I've um, it's been a while since I bloody um, I made those cables up a couple of years ago, actually. So anyway, I'll get to it and um, I'll show you how it, how it looks after. So this one goes down here. Now, what size are these? I think they're double O. And, you know, there's plenty of online calculators that um, will help you work out your, your current draw um, and, and your cable size over the, over the length of the run. So you have to, uh, when you work out the length of the run, you've got to work out um, the return run, not just, the, just, you know, say it's five metres in front of the car or the back of the car. You've got to double it for the positive and negative. So, um, I don't like. I didn't like to muck around. I just got this heavy stuff. Um, double O was uh, what it said it needed to be, so that's what I went with, and um, shouldn't have any issues for um, voltage drop and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I'll show you what we've got. That goes there now. I think that went through there. Just can't really remember to be honest. So need to have another look at all this sort of stuff. I'm going to put the other one in bloody rain in there. The shorter one was for the starter motor. That went down there. So that goes from from that thing there down to the down to the starter motor. I might um, for that one I might um, get a a black sheathing for it so it just looks looks half decent you know what I mean right this one here I'll put the camera down and I'll come back to you Grease on that bloody door hinge, don't I? With these things, if you're going to do it at home like I did, um, I just uh, got two bolt heads and put them, uh, one there and one there, and then just um, crimped them in the vise. So there's no way in, in the world that's going to come undone. That is a really good connection, but just an easy way of doing it if you don't have the, the crimping tool. Right. 
All right, I managed to work it out. That goes up to there. It runs down here. Now the earth just goes through through that. Oh, I've got to grow it there. The earth will feed through there and then go onto the. Um, actually, I'm not sure where it goes on yet. I'll have, have another look at that. Um, this sort of that'll tuck in tightly there. I'll probably end up drilling some um, cable holders or whatever. That'll run nice and you know down there. Goes through there on both sides, and then this one, same thing. I'll I'll end up um, putting some um, cable protector around there, tight, tight on, tight, and then that just runs down there like that. Now these cables are, this is just welding cable, and it's double sheathed, and these um, these are um, got the glue. Heat shrink, but the, the glue that melts on the inside. There's no way that'll come undone. That's a really good connection there. Same with this one. Pretty pleased with the the connection there. So that'll just go like that. And uh, what I might do is run the um, have a look at have a look at all this stuff. We'll run these. See what's what what goes where and start running it. Um, I know another thing I've got to do is mount the, sorry about moving the camera out, I'm going to put the coil there, the coil goes there, that goes under there, um, so this one actually have to come off once more, anyway I'll get to it and See what we come up with. Okay, so what I've done is fed these cables through to the back. These are really good because um, you can probably, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but every 10 centimetres it tells you where the where that particular wire goes, it's written on it, um, all the way along the, the whole cable. So um, I've added speaker wires because I'm going to put some speakers in the parcel shelf. So this mess I've got to sort out after. But those, um, there's a lot in there that isn't needed, so like an antenna wire and stuff like that. So for the time being, some of them are fuel sender wires. Um, I've also got a, the fuel pump kit that I've got. I've got a, um, got the harness for that. So these are tail lights, stop lights, and that sort of stuff. This is the, the right tail lights. So the harness comes through here. These are like just the indicators and reverse lights and stuff. So and then the um, speaker wire. There's a dome. There's a dome light wire as well in that uh, rolled up one there. So that'll that for these lights up here. I just thought I'd show you the battery tray that I've got. So that'll go there like so. So my plan for the boot is I'll have a false floor and you'll only see this much of the battery so that only the top half of the battery just for the terminals and then this will just be a false floor and uh, sort of dress it up you know put the panels in here and the panels across the front there and all that so you won't sort of see everything the type of battery you're going to get I just can't think of oh, the Optimus the Optima yellow top will be the, the battery that we're going to get. I need to get some washers for this.
clean the thread out on these, I think. They're a bit, they're a bit of paint on them. see the, the top of the battery so that won't look too bad. Anyway, that'll do for now. It's getting a bit getting a bit dark, but uh, tomorrow I might um, put some put some holes in the paint and put the badges on some of the badges. Got to dig them out of the other shed. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.